Hi, my name is Kat Green Ross, and I'm the coordinator for Children's Ministries, and I am bringing you the Lectio Divina for today. Our text continues in Acts 7 for the trial of Stephen, and our verses begin at 44 through 53. As you remember, Lectio Divina is a four stage um, scripture study, and I will be walking you through those. The first one stage is to sit with the text and try to hear it for the first time if it's familiar to you. If it's not, um, then what you do is you listen for the uh, words or phrases or a particular part of the scripture that reaches out to you or that you find interesting. So will you join me now in Lectio Divina? first stage with Acts 7, 44 through 53, Stephen, the apostle, was speaking. Our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness, as God directed when he spoke to Moses, ordering him to make it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors, in turn, brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all of these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the laws ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. Let's spend a few moments considering these words. Friends, as we listen a second time, this is really to sit with the scripture and let it evoke a thought or a feeling or a reaction. So we will listen to Acts 7, 44 through 53. This is Stephen speaking. Our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness, as God directed when he spoke to Moses ordering him to make it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors, in turn, brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands, as the prophet says, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Yet not my hand make all these things. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the laws ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. Friends, let's sit with this and 
see which words or phrases or thoughts come to mind. How does the Holy Spirit put this scripture into our hearts today? Friends, we're going to listen a third time to this scripture, and this time we're listening to anticipate our response, whether it is one of prayer, one of petition, one of praise, one of confession, one of worship, one of um, or, or questions, questions that come to mind. Listen with me now to Acts 7, verses 44 through 53. Stephen is speaking. Our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness, as God directed when he spoke to Moses, ordering him to make it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors, in turn, brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hands make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, and now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. Friends, let us make an offering to God. This last time we listened to the scripture, let us sit and hear or feel the response of the Holy Spirit, for we know that God does hear our words of prayer and praise and petition. We are reading Acts 7, verses 44 through 53. How our ancestors had the tent of testimony in the wilderness as God directed when he spoke to Moses, ordering him to make it according to the pattern he had seen. Our ancestors, in turn, brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our ancestors. And it was there until the time of David, who found favor with God and asked that he might find a dwelling place for the house of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him, Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with human hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? 
You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as the ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, and now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the laws ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. Friends, let us sit with this scripture and hear the movement of the Holy Spirit in our hearts and minds. I hope the jingling of my dog's tags didn't distract you too badly. But thank you for being here with me. Um, I don't know if you I've ever mentioned it, but before we start lighting out Divina each time, I light a candle signifying that our intention is to uh, listen for the light of Christ and the Word of God in our hearts now. And so at the conclusion... I say a prayer of thanks for this time with you, and then I blow out the candle. So thank you for being here. Thank you for participating in this moment with Scripture and the Holy Spirit. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. <laughs>